You know when you watch a sports anime and you really get into it and you really enjoy it and you look at what's going on you're like, oh, that looks so much fun and you want to play it as well. You know, you watch Kuroko's basketball, you see Kuroko bouncing that ball around, you're like, I could do that. And then you actually go and do it and you're like, ah, okay. All right, maybe I'm not that good at basketball as I, as I hoped I would be. I'm just going to go back and watch the anime again. Well, I had a similar effect watching this anime called Tanaka Kun is Always Listless. Tanaka Kun is Always Listless is about a boy who just wants to sleep. And there was something about watching him sleep that brought out the same emotion in me that happens when I watch Kuroko's Basketball or any other anime, any other sports anime. I kind of just wanted to join in. However, unlike with sports anime, where I'm actually crap at them in real life, I kind of, I just enjoyed lying down and falling asleep. <laughs> it, it was a strange effect, because he just looked so peaceful and calm, and I just wanted to join in. However, I managed to fight off the urge, because the show, the anime, is actually pretty good. I think it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, the show, like I said, centers around a boy who just wants to sleep, and he just does everything in his power. To just go to sleep and to just have a nice relaxing day. He even has a friend who will help him out and do and do basically anything for him. And then it's interesting to see how the other characters react to him. Tanaka is the main character, like I said, wants to fall asleep. He's a very funny main character. I looked up the voice actor for him and he's the same guy who voices uh, Prince Canoe in Vinland Saga. He, he did a few other voices. That's the one character that I absolutely remember him voicing. And he's very good in the role, he just sounds very tired and relaxed, and he knows what he's doing, and he's getting on with things. And he's nice and relaxed, and he, he really he really uh, embodies the show, because the show is very funny, but also nice and relaxing. It's the sort of show you can just sit back, lie down and relax to. Like I said, the show really makes you want to fall asleep at times, but not because it's bad, just because it's a really relaxing show. And if you're exhausted, this is the kind of show that you can just sit down and watch and just let all the all the problems with the world just, just leave you for a few, for 20 minutes. Tanaka is a great character, very funny. He's not really got much else going for him other than him just being uh, sleepy. Uh, which is a good thing that the show is only 12 episodes. I think if there was a few more, I might have got over the um, the novelty might have wore off. But fortunately, since it was 12 episodes, I really liked it. The main reason why I think the show is so good is his interaction with other characters. So, Ota is, the, is his carer. He's, he's the one who looks after him. He just picks him up and carries him around everywhere. And I like their relationship as well. I like how Tanaka literally just proposes to Ota and, and says, please, can you be my wife? And Ota says no, because Tanaka doesn't doesn't love him or anything. He just wants someone to care for him for the rest of his life. And it, Ota's this kind of uh, just nice, caring dude. and he, he doesn't just look after Tanaka. You get the feeling that uh, everyone in the school likes him. And then he looks after everyone, but mainly Tanaka, especially when he just carries him around at the hip. Miyano is probably the character that I think is going to get mean the most. If you, I haven't looked up any memes of Tanaka Kun, but I feel like he, most of them are going to be about Miyano. She's kind of like this small child character, even though she's the same age as all the other characters. She, she's basically kind of a lolly, but they don't do anything weird with her. They kind of make keep her innocent, so that part of the show also works. Um, she's mainly there just for funny. She's like the, she for some reason wants to be like Tanaka, which I know I just said for some reason, but I kind of understand because I also kind of want to be like Tanaka because he just looks so relaxed and so happy all the time, even though he can't eat his food properly, which I also kind of relate to. But uh, Miyano is just kind of this cute extroverted character to contrast with his introvert itself, and she's very um, she's very hyper and she she gets. She gets, she's very loud, a very loud person, she wants to be like him, so there's a lot of comedy that comes from that. The best interactions with him are from Shiraishi, I'm just looking up the name on some website, and it says Shiraishi, I probably pronounced it wrong, it's been a while since I've seen the anime, so I can't really remember, but Shiraishi, I liked her as well, she's essentially the popular girl, she's really attractive, everyone likes her, all the boys want to date her, all the women want to be her, and so anyway, she has this this horrific secret, this this thing that she keeps to herself. See, in real life, it takes a lot of effort to look that good. And whenever she goes home, she always just, just kind of deflates. She kind of just takes the makeup off, puts glasses on, ties her hair up, weirdly. She kind of just exists like that. And uh, no one recognises her. 
Except for Tanaka, because one day she decides to to just try it out at school because she's tired. She doesn't let anyone know, but she's just like, I'll just do it briefly. And she walks around, and because she's not the hot, attractive girl at that moment in time, everyone just kind of walks past her, and she really likes it. But then Tanaka recognises her, and it leads to her full developing feelings for him, which, as you'll find out in a few minutes, is uh, something that happens a lot with women in the show. They all... <laughs> for some reason, develop feelings for the guy who who doesn't want to talk to anyone. But yeah, so she develops feelings for him because he was able to see her when no one else could, and he was he was able to recognize her personality when no one else could. So it was interesting to see that side to the character, especially since she'd kind of just been background dressing. She was kind of like the pretty girl that was just there in the background, whereas she now has this personality in it. You get to see a different side to her. And it doesn't really affect Tanaka that much because he, he's a very one-note character in a good way. He just stays the same. His character consistency is the, some of the best you'll ever see. Uh, but but you have to remember the show's a comedy as well. So I like the explanation because I have to ask Tanaka, how did you, you recognise her? Because no one else did. And then it turns out that uh, he just, you know, he's always kind of looking down a little at the floor. So when he walked past her, he kind of... You know, recognise the size of her boobs because, you know, she can change how she looks, but she can't change her boob size. So I feel like if she found that out, she wouldn't uh, She wouldn't like him as much. But it's overall very funny. Um, there's a few other characters that I just want to breeze through. Saya is Ota's sister. She's not really... She doesn't really have to worry about her in this first season. She doesn't really do anything. Um, Etchison's probably the worst character in the season. She's kind of just there. She... She also develops feelings for Tanaka and also Ota. Ota makes sense, but for Tanaka, she's, it didn't really make sense why. And she kind of just, she's kind of like the tomboy delinquent character. And they don't really do much with her. She's very good friends with Miano, but those scenes are usually good because of Miano, not Echizen. So I think Echizen was a bit of a wasted character and wasted potential. And then finally, there's Reno, who is Tanaka's sister. Now, Tanaka's sister is a psychopath. Who is also in love with her brother. So there you go. That's that character. And she, she just wants Tanaka all to herself. She wants to take care of him and look after him. You know. Because he's incompetent. He needs people to look after him. And she hates Ota. Which leads to a lot of comedy there. Because Ota's Tanaka's caregiver. And all of that. But Reno is just a complete nutcase. She like. She really just wants her brother. She is. She's insane. She is really really insane. Fortunately, it seems like Tanaka has no interest, although I, I, hate, I hate to know what would happen if she asked to marry him, because I feel like at the same time, considering he asked out uh, Ota to marry him, I feel like he might say yes, just purely so he could get someone to look after him all the time. But honestly, I really liked Tanaka-kun, his always listeners. It was very surprisingly good. I, I had a feeling I'd like it, but it's a very popular anime. Like, it had a lot of views on Crunchyroll, so it seems like people really liked it, and it, people kept watching it, so hopefully it gets a season two. I'm not too hopeful. It is a fairly old anime by this point, but I really enjoyed it. I do recommend it. It's very nice, very relaxing, very calm. If you're stressed out, then I recommend this anime, because it, it's just a good time, and we need shows like that every now and then, so... Thank you for watching, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know what you thought of the anime down below in the comments, and I'll see you next time, make sure to like and subscribe, bye bye!